Hi everyone, it's Tammy, and this week we are going to be focusing on Cozy Critters. This stamp set is one of my favorite in the holiday catalog, but it's only available to hostesses. It's You can redeem it with hostess rewards. So if you want this, you need to be a hostess, and to be a hostess, that means that you have to have a party, or you have to purchase yourself, or you have to gather some friends up and make purchases of $150 or more, and that will give you the hostess rewards and you will be able to purchase this for I think it's ten dollars so it's really inexpensive and it's just a fun stamp set it goes along with the owl punch and the fox builder punch and the hat punch so it has lots of flexibility and it's just tons of fun today we're going to do the owl punch with this owl and this was one that I found let me see I'm trying to find who the Rebecca Scurry, it looks like, is the originator of this idea. Goodness. I should have looked at that first, and I apologize. But uh, she has found it, the stamp, and the paper and stamp addict. And she did an idea similar to this, and I am casing it. And casing means copy and stamp, nope, copy and something, everything. I can't remember right now, but it just means that you're copying it and it's all good. People, um, we put this, all of our videos on YouTube, hoping that other people get inspiration and like what we do and use it. And so I think that people that put them on there, I think that we are all, I hope that we are all the same. I mean, we want you guys to feel like you can make this stuff too and to go for it. So I'm using my Stampin' Scrub and my Stampin' Mist so I can clean my stamps. And my little block that I love, I forgot to grab my ribbon, which I did grab, I just didn't put it next to me. This is the Real Red ribbon. I haven't used it yet, but it's beautiful. So we're gonna use that too. And we're also going to use one of the boxes that is in the holiday catalog. These come in a package of six. And it looks like this. They're just white gift boxes, and it has the um, acetate little thing that you can put over it, but I'm not going to use that right yet. And then it has the box, of course. And I got something on my box. There we go. <laughs> Cleaned it right up. Okay, so I am going to stamp right on the box, and then I'm also going to stamp off the box. We're also going to use this, but that will be in a minute, so I'll put that to the side. All right. First thing I want to do is stamp the branch. And I may bring my Stampin' Misty over here because this this 3x3 three three block is big enough for almost everything. And I could probably make it work for this too. Some things are just a little bit too small or too big for this. Most of my stamps, most of them fit perfectly on the block. And this is just the size D three by three block. It's just my most versatile. I have others, I just don't use them. And I have the Misty, which I love too. So I will use that if I need to. Okay, so I'm going to stamp right on to this, and I'm just trying to see where I want it. Well, and actually, I don't even need all of it on here. Let me put it here where I want it. Something like that. And then I'll get as much on it as I can knowing that I need just this part on, and I'm going to do this in chocolate chip. I want to do it kind of low on the box, but not too low, but kind of low because I'm going to put my little owl up here and then I'm going to hang some ornaments down here. 
So this is where I'm going with that. So I'm just cleaning my stamp. And I think I'll go ahead and do the ornaments next. And this is um, glossy paper, so it's going to take a little bit to dry. And it will smear, so just be careful with it. I might even use my heat gun to help dry it here in a minute. I'm going to close this for now. And I'm going to use my Real Red for the ornaments. And I'm going to hang probably three of them down. And I think I'll use three different ones. Sometimes these acrylic stamps, especially if they are new, they will stick to your fingers. Well, they stick to anything that's kind of plasticky or papery. So I try to use something sometimes to help it so that it doesn't stick to me because then I can move it around and I don't want to do that. I'm going to make this one come off of this little branch like that. Okay, perfect. So now I can take my block and I could pick up all three of these at once. I think I can. <laughs> They're so sticky. <laughs> and then I'm going to ink them all up in the red. And then pardon my head if I get in here. I just need to make sure that I have these where I need them. There we go. Isn't that cute? Cleaning off my things. Gonna close up this red for now. I'm going to put this to the side so it will dry. I'm going to put my ornaments away. And I'm going to get out my owl. I'm going to stamp him in tip top taupe. And I think I'll stamp him. Um, I don't know yet. Let's see. I'll stamp him. And this goes in like this. So I want him to be, oh no, I want his feet to go in first. Okay. I'm not sure if I want two owls on the branch or one owl. I don't know how many I can fit, so I'll see what I can do. And then I think I'll just leave it like this for a second and cut these or punch these out. It's so easy. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to even cut this so that I don't have to worry too much about all of this extra being cut out because I don't really want the extra. And that way I can have leftover paper to use if I need to punch more. <clears throat> So I'll just use this as a handle to hold it while I punch them out. And you just line them up to the inside of the punch. And punch them out. 
bunch away. I'm going to do that to both of them. And you know what? I was going to say I should have stamped them first. I did. I'm doing that. I'm going to see what it looks like if I put two up here or one up here. Oh, I think two's cute. Okay, I can do two. So then now I'm going to cut out two more, I think, so that I can use bits and pieces of them. But I don't know if I want them in this color. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I do. And as a matter of fact, I think I'm just going to do some coloring over the tip top taupe and we'll see how that looks. We'll make it fun. Hee hee hee. Okay, so I'm going to use, I think, my real red and try to do his scarf. And I have the Stampin' Up! or Stampin' Right markers that I ordered the last time I could get a 50% off item. Which, if you have, if you decide to have your friends all place orders and you get $450 worth of orders or more, you can get a half price item. Which is fabulous, I think. So let's see, this one is real red. So let's see, I'm going to color this a little bit. I don't know if I color over the tip top taupe or if I should do the white. Huh, I kinda like the over the tip top taupe. I love the little critters, so cute. That looks really good. I'm impressed that they get colored so well over. So then I'm gonna take, I think, chocolate chip. Yes, I'm getting good at these colors. <laughs> and I'm just going to, I don't think I'm gonna worry about the little white things that are in this part of his eye. I'm just going to color that little spots around his the the hoot owl's eyes I was thinking I could make them red for a minute like make them colored but then who we that would be that would be bad wouldn't it Red eyes are probably not good on anyone, not even an owl. And let's see, this should be like a gray, or this is basic black, okay. That's even better. I thought it was going to be like the dark gray or something. I'm just doing his little pupils. Jambo's over here saying hello. Hi, baby jams. And then I think I will use this peekaboo peach. I 
And this is one of our in colors. And I'm doing an in color club if you guys are interested in learning about it. I will link the club information below. And I think this one I'm going to do, I think I might do his scarf in red too, but I'm gonna do the white part so that his is like taupe and red. I'm not going to do his eyes. There, I think that's cute. When they come in this case, it's very nice. It tells you all the colors. I like it, I like it, I like it. I like it, I like it a lot. Okay, so let's see if this is dry. I can still see it's wet a little bit. So I'm going to use my heat gun and just put some heat to it. Hopefully that will do it. Yeah, it looks like it's not coming off on my hand. Yay! So then I'm just going to use some dimensionals on the back of my owls. Actually, one on each owl should do it. Then you can figure out where you want them. Isn't that cute? But wait, there's more. I love it when projects are cute already though. Yay! Throwing all of my stuff away. Oh, the tag on my shirt is bugging me, bugging me, bugging me. Okay, that is adorable. And then see how the box will fold. And it comes already pre-scored, ready to go. And I don't know what I'm going to put in it yet, so I, I'm not going to fill it quite yet, but I know I have stuff. I just don't know which one yet. So to close these... I think there are several options, but I'm going to do it this way. Oops. <laughs> Not quite that way. This way. There we go. Oh my gosh, it's so stinking cute. I'm going to go ahead and close it even though I don't have anything in it yet, but I will imagine. And this, I believe, is three by three, so I'm going to take this and cut it to two and a half. And I want it to be about nine inches long. So this should be 12 inches. No, it's only 11 and a half. I must have used it for something. So I need to cut off two and a half inches. Actually, I think I'll just leave it like that. But I'll score it at three inches. 
Actually, I'll score the first one at three and a half inches so it goes underneath a little bit. That way it looks really cute. Three and a half inches and then three inches and then three inches. Score. Maybe I just missed it. Didn't go long enough. Score that at three inches. There we go. I can't put this on here yet, but this is how it will look. And then we will put this over it. And this also comes with it, and it comes just like this, so you'll just need to, to fold it on the score lines. And gosh, they did such a good job, it's hard to find the bottom, which is where they the two come together. Now tape this down with just some regular scotch tape if you're going to do this just because it will hold it in there better. And then you will put this around your box. Like so, isn't that cute? And then we're gonna make our little bow with this. Um, she actually made like a bow for the top, like like it looks like a really pretty bow using this, and I don't know exactly how she did it, but she did something using up all of this and like put it on here like a real bow. I am not going to do that because I don't know how and because I don't want it to be like that. <laughs> so I'm just taking this and I'm going to tie it in a bow or even just a knot right on top, but I think I'll do a bow. So I'm going to need to give myself a little more than that and I'll try again. Now on this kind of ribbon, this is like Grogain and then it has like the edging which is beautiful, but I have found that it does tend to like splinter at the end or I don't know what that frizz or whatever. So if you take a lighter and just at the very, very edge, run your lighter on, not touching it and not burning it obviously, just sealing that up because then it will if there's a little snag, it will catch on fire sometimes, which is fine. Just blow it out. But this will help make sure that it doesn't fray. Okay, so now, and I sometimes just go ahead and do it to this end too. That way I know that it's not going to get ruined in my stash. So I'm going to find the middle and then that's going to go on the very bottom and then I will take it around to the top and tie it in a bow. Now I would probably go ahead and tie it in a knot first and then a bow but again I don't have anything in here yet so I am just going to do a bow so that I can easily get it back open and dig into it so I can put my goodies in there. Thank you. 
And I kind of like the long tails on this, but if you want to cut them shorter, you can. But this is it. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, I love it. So yeah, I would love to get a present like that. So I'm, so I love to give presents like that because I think they're just fun and nice and very beautiful. So I hope that you guys like it. I hope you guys try it and I will talk with you soon. Bye-bye.